What's up guys, so welcome to another video on a product review. Um, we've got three products today, they're all pre-workouts. Um, the samples that I got from my last order from Cardiff Sports Nutrition. So hopefully you enjoy the video. No I want you to stay. Before I just start this video, literally last week I was shopping in Asda, strolling around, and on the end of the Nile, there was a monster energy thing. I was like, oh, I'll pick myself up a monster. And I didn't realise they have the white, orange, and red zero calories, even though there's nine calories in the whole thing. But holy crap, these flavours like ridiculous. I've tried the the blue monster, which is like the light carb, or whatever it is, low carb, or, and it's not that nice compared to the original monster. These themselves are a completely different flavour. They're amazing. The white one has got like a lemonade type flavour, maybe slightly 7-up, which is really good. This is slightly cherry, but it's still got like that citrusy taste to it. And then the orange one is slightly orangey. They're literally the best monsters by far. And they're zero calorie. Well, it says zero calories, zero carbs, but there's nine calories in the whole drink, which is amazing. So it's almost like drinking water, flavored water. So if you guys can get them, try them. They're... I can't even describe how good they are. So just get them, guys. Okay, so in my last video, you would have seen I had a load of free supplements uh, given to me with my order. There were a lot of like little sample packets. Um, I'll try and get the pictures up on the screen because I didn't keep the packets. I threw them in the bin. But I've gone through my video to check what they were. So the first one we're going to talk about, I've got my little notes back here, so I'm being professional for once. Um, so the first one is the Arnold Iron Pump Pre-Workout Muscle Formula, and the flavour of that was a fruit punch. So it's two fruit fruit punches in the end. They're very similar um, in flavour, texture, and aftertaste. Um, so. I'd probably say out of the two, Arnold was the the best one, mainly because it just it was just slightly better in overall taste. But um, okay, let's go on to the flavour of it. The flavour of it was very very sweet. I mixed it to the exact amount of water ratio I said on the packet, which is 200 uh, mil to the sachet. Um, very very sweet, like sweetener flavour so tastes like fruit punch a bit too sweet for my liking it was drinkable didn't really offend me too much in, in my taste buds um, the texture of it it wasn't too bad it was quite smooth um, a little bit dry if that makes sense on the palate um, don't know how to explain it other than dry it was, was alright to drink but then the aftertaste of it was just so strong I, even drinking water, I could just keep tasting the fruit punch flavour of that like sweetness of a, a sweetener. So, on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it a, maybe a six or a seven because the actual buzz I got off of it wasn't amazing. It was all right. Got a bit tingly. Had that uh, beta alanine, I think it is, had that, that effect of tingliness in me. So it gave me an all right pump. Alright Buzz, so I'll give her about a 7 out of 10 I think. So the second one I tried after that the next day was the SP250 Pre-Workout Igniter. Once again it was a fruit punch flavour. Now this one was alright, but it wasn't as good as the Yang uh, Pre-Workout. The taste of it once again and the mixture was really sweet. But this time instead of being like a sweetener sweet, it was more of a chemical sweet. Um, it didn't taste very natural, so it wasn't that great for taste. I, I was, I didn't really like it that much. Um, I wouldn't have her again for the taste-wise. Uh, the texture of it was excellent. It mixed very well. It was really smooth. But then, once again, with this, the aftertaste, just like the other one, it wouldn't wear off, and it was very, very like bitter and chemically. So, for the flavour, I would not buy her again, definitely. But the buzz off here was pretty much the same as the Arnold. So it wouldn't surprise me if these are made in the same factory, just a slight different formula. They're very, very similar. 
but I'd probably give this a five and a half, maybe six out of ten for overall satisfaction. Okay, so the last one I had, which was uh, the No Explode Pre-Workout Igniter, which was the Green Apple. Straight away when I seen the uh, flavour name, I knew I was not going to like this. Um, so just before I do go into why I don't like it, I'll tell you a little story. Um, a while ago, some of my mates all had a flat, went around there, they were all playing black blackjack, and my one mate said, me and you, whoever loses takes drinks. So I decided, let's get drunk cheap. Bought a bottle of green apple sours. I basically lost for a half hour straight. Ended up drinking the whole bottle. And then when we went out to town that night, lo and behold, I was sick and it tasted like green apple sours. So ever since then, any sort of like soury apple taste, like I can feel in my mouth now is making me feel sick. Just makes me feel horribly sick. So. Green, the green apple pre-workout from No Explode tasted like apple, tasted quite sour. So I don't want to be biased because I don't like that flavour anymore. But I say the flavour, if you like green apple, probably about seven or eight out of ten for how it tastes. Um, the texture of it was smooth once again. There was no bits. It wasn't dry, so it was pretty good. It was a bit foamy from shaking it. The other two, when you shake it up, it didn't froth at all. This got quite frothy, so I had to let it settle. But I would suggest stirring this. So, texture's not too bad if you stir it, sorry. But then, with the aftertaste, all I could taste was apple, sours. So, depending on how you like your flavours, I didn't like it. Overall, if I could stomach this, like on a daily basis, I'd probably give her about a seven and a half, eight out of ten. So those are my satisfactory ratings. So in first place overall would be the green apple, even though I don't like the flavour. Second place, the Arnold Iron Pump pre-workout. And in third place it's gonna have to be the SP250, just because of the unnatural flavours taste like chemicals. But saying that, there was just the free samples. I'm gonna stick with my all-time favorite pre-workout, which is the C4, and that's the Cellucor uh, Blue Raz, Icy Blue Raz. Literally, such a good flavor, perfect mixture, like it's no, nothing wrong with the texture, no horrible aftertastes, and it always gives me a good pump. Um, I'm so used to it that the beta alanine in it doesn't really give me much of a tingle unless I take like a scoop and a half, two scoops. Well, that's just my opinion guys. Why don't you go try them out for yourselves? Tell me what you think in below, what your favourite pre-workouts are because I know loads of you will have tried different pre-workouts. I've heard of all these different things like Jack 3D and stuff, I've never ever tried it. Apparently like some of them, like the old mixtures are like illegal now or banned substances in them. So tell me what you think. Rate this video, comment on this video, subscribe if you haven't and you really want to because this is just the best channel ever obviously. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.